wins every election. So every election, 7 million Canadians who take the time and effort to come to the polling station to try to elect a representative actually have no impact on the outcome of an election. And in 2013, we find that to be unacceptable. We are really excited to announce that this week we've hit 25,000 signers on our Declaration of Voters' Rights. So this is, our, this is our petition for proportional representation. Please go on fairvote.ca, sign our declaration, help us hit 100,000 signers by 2015. The goal of our Make Every Vote Count campaign is to get a commitment from the parties to engage in a citizen-led process and then implement proportional representation in time for the following federal election. So I am up here with Julian LaMarche, who is the president of our National Capital Region chapter, and I'm going to let Julian say a few words in French for us. Please, please ask your MP to sign the politicians' pledge. Merci beaucoup. All right, I'm going to hand it over now to Matthew Carroll, who is the campaign's director for leadnow.ca. One of the issues that keeps coming up time and time and time again is our broken democracy. It's our broken electoral system that too often encourages parties to war against each other instead of working together cooperatively. And it's our broken electoral system that gave the current government total power to shift the direction of our country through divide and conquer tactics with the support of only a minority of Canadians. But it's going to be impossible for us to achieve those kinds of changes while we still have broken winner-take-all voting systems. Um, I definitely encourage you all to sign, uh, sign Fair Vote Canada's petition. Um, our focus for 2015 is going to be on getting out the vote for candidates that have the strongest position on this issue and the other issues that our community cares about and who can win in the writings our community selects. Uh, sign up, get involved, organize, talk to your friends, talk to your neighbors, volunteer. I know we can make it happen. Thank you. Francis is the chair of Unitarians for Social Justice. Thank you. Hey, I have voted all my life in federal, provincial, and municipal elections. I've tried to do my due diligence. A few times I actually voted for somebody that won. Sometimes I voted for candidates I didn't like. That's better than the alternative. I often don't feel represented by my government. Do you feel represented by your government? No! no. Well, no. I couldn't agree more. Our democracy is broken. Nous avons besoin le changement, le système, le, le fondamental de notre système, l'infrastructure de notre democracy, comme le Senat, mais aussi le système électoral. We need to fix our democracy, the infrastructure, the, the, the structure of our democracy. Yes, and you've heard about our comments around the Senate. That has to be fixed for certain, but we have to change the system which we can actually vote, uh, as you know, we can't for the Senate, but where we can actually vote, and that is our system that we have in place, the first past the post. Listen, we take this seriously as a party. Our party has our policies uh, based on our membership who vote for our platform and vote for our priorities. One of our priorities in our platform has been to have a system, a mixed member proportional system, to have a proportionality in our system so we actually have fair voting so people can actually vote for something and to actually see their vote show up in Parliament. We don't have that, we need that and that's why I'm delighted to be here today. I'm the foreign affairs spokesperson for our party. I travel a little bit, I do election monitoring and people are shocked when I go to a country and explain two things. One, that we have a non-elected Senate, because it turns out senators, when they travel, don't mention the fact that they're not elected. And the second thing they're shocked at, and we're talking about developing and emerging democracies, and they're shocked at our first-past-the-post system. And so we end up going abroad and saying, here's what we think you should do. We think you should have a fair system. We think you should have a system where every vote counts. But alas, the question is turned on us as Canadians from those who are in emerging, demo emerging democracies and saying, so why aren't you doing it there? And I don't have an answer for that other than because we haven't and we should. And that's why it's so important for us to have a system that's fair, obviously, for every Canadian to make sure that their vote counts, but also for our international reputation. You know, when we go on the foreign, uh, when we are on the world stage, 
And we are talking about democratic values. We've heard it many times from this government, the rhetoric of, you know, the rule of law and democracy. Well, it seems to me there's a little bit of hypocrisy when this government in particular talks about democracy, not only the things we've seen of late, but the fact that they will not entertain the idea of reforming our democracy. I'll leave you with this. We're taking this issue seriously. I'm happy to sign the pledge. I've been a member of Fair Vote Canada forever. It is important that citizens take this on and to push politicians. It is in our uh, policy booklet, but most importantly right now, we have Craig Scott, who is our spokesperson for democratic reform, traveling the country on a democracy tour. And he is pushing to have fundamentals of our democracy changed. I look forward for Canadians engaging with us. Craig will be crossing the country on this issue, and you can be sure this will be front and center, not just in our policy book, but in our commitment to Canadians. Thank you so much. Merci beaucoup. Joyce Murray uh, in being the second politician, federal politician, to sign the pledge. We've had some Ontario, oh, some provincial candidates sign as well, but I'd really like to thank Paul again. Please give a round of applause for signing the pledge. Canada, every time there's an election, there's a problem because we're not voting. Why Canadians are not voting? So just look at the numbers. The fact that Conservatives with 39% of the vote, they get in power, which is 24% of all the people, if we count the people that didn't vote. And with 24%, they get 60% of the deputies. In 2008, the Green Party had a close to a million vote. Close to a million vote. We didn't win a seat with a million vote. Did, did anyone have a voice in 2008? No. I thought her voice could have been Elizabeth, so when there was that political debate, she was shut down with a million vote. When I go to door to door to see people in Montreal, the first thing people are telling me is that the fact that the vote doesn't count. Everybody talks about it. Everybody recognizes a problem with fair voting. Come on, come on. Vote here in a fair voting system. Don't let your next vote become a game of chance. Your vote should not end up like garbage. You deserve better. We all deserve better. Let's stop clowning around and start seriously talking about changing our voting system. <laughs> <laughs>